We love our phones and electronics. I wanted to know what would happen to them after I threw them out. Uh, what world are we leaving behind? Until it's time for an upgrade. Nathaniel Stern's The World After Us explores the destiny of our favorite gadgets after we move on from them. It's meant to give us a kind of intimate relationship to what we throw out and where the earth might claim or be unable to claim it. The UW Milwaukee professor, artist and writer started working along scientists to artificially age electronics and find out if they will ever actually decompose. None of them broke down the way that we expected. Uh, none of them broke down the ways that we hoped for. Leading to new ideas for these outdated devices. And the ink itself is made out of crushed phones extended with different kinds of printmaking oils. The utilities that I call circuitous tools where you see my hacksaw, my hacks, and a trowel that have been made out of old Dell circuit boards. He's hoping to postpone some of the long-term damage this type of waste can create. A lot of the uh, rare earth minerals in our phones are toxic and are toxic to the soil. Currently installed in downtown Milwaukee's St. Kate Hotel, the traveling exhibit is sparking curiosity and raising awareness. I feel like it brings a lot of awareness for kind of how our society is going about life and the overlap with, you know, nature and stuff like that. You know, what's going to happen to all these products um, down the road when we're uh, putting them in landfills and stuff like that. The exhibit is letting people get up close and personal with the experiment, where they might even encounter something they previously owned, giving them a perspective of how long they can hold up. Maybe we should take a second look at how we're going about technology and how we're going to be sustainable for the future. Making people consider holding on a little longer. In Milwaukee, for Spectrum News, Magali Ayala.